Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. So today, let's talk about how 40% of AI companies do not use AI. So a couple of days ago, I read this article on the Financial Times website titled, Europe's AI startups often do not use AI, study finds, right? And the article goes on to say, two-fifths of Europe's artificial intelligence startups do not use any AI programs in their products, according to a report that highlights the hype around the technology. The research by London-based investment firm MMC Ventures could not find any evidence based on public information and interviews with executives of artificial intelligence applications at 40% of 2,830 AI startups in Europe. Nevertheless, the companies are often described as AI-focused, and it goes on and on. And I, I read this and I thought, oh my God, I can't believe a company would claim to do something and they don't just because it's popular. Obviously, obviously, if you ever worked at any software companies, especially a small company, especially a startup, you know that a lot of times things can get hyperbolic. Like they just, they'll just exaggerate everything, right? I've worked at companies where they claim to be agile. We do agile development. And as a developer at that company, there was no agile done. I mean, it was just something that sounded good to the managing director. So that's what they would tell other clients. And I'm sure there's a lot of companies out there that claim to use Ethereum, but probably don't use it to its full potential or don't use it at all. I'm sure there's companies that use a lot of things because it sounds really good to new people and AI and voice and all this kind of stuff. I'm sure that comes out. Right. And sometimes it's not necessarily the developers because I've worked at software houses before. I, they're one of the companies I worked at. I can remember sitting there and having listening to the manager, managing director on the phone talk about me, saying he was talking to one of their clients, saying, "Oh, we got this developer named Eric, and he is a whiz with the computer. He could do anything with a computer. You know, he could do all. He could do every programming language." He was basically bigging me up to all this kind of stuff, and I knew I was like a, at the time I was like a Visual Basic developer, right? I was like, but it was like just yeah, just go with it, right? Just you know, don't you know, he's on a roll, but you know, that's what they do. So. And I'm sure there's a lot of companies out there that do this. Like I said, I'm sure Ethereum, AI, machine learning, a lot of companies claim to do this kind of stuff, but they don't. And I experienced this myself when I talk to a lot of companies that contact me uh, from India and they say, Eric, we want to do some work for you. We've been doing a lot of work with IO2, I, sorry, IOT, Internet of Things, right? But when I start asking like detailed questions, like what kind of Internet of Things? Like what kind of things? I mean, I'm really curious. How does how does that work? I mean, are you using Bluetooth? Are you using Wi-Fi? You know, what kind of devices are you connecting to? And I never get a straight answer back. It's just kind of thing. I think, well, we could do Internet of Things if we could find a project that does it. But it's it's one of these things. And it's if you work in software for any amount of time, you find out this this kind of stuff happens. If you hire somebody, like if you ever hire a developer and they claim to do something, you have to make sure it's backed up by a portfolio. And ideally, if you're going to hire them, you get a, a testimonial or something saying, "I want to talk to one of your clients. You worked on this Internet of Things thing with, right? Because it could have been. Yeah, you know, I've worked in projects. I've hired developers. Uh, to work on things and they claim to work on on like they'll they'll use my game in their portfolio and really they only have a small part of it like i had a different designer a different person working on the back end it was like a whole team and they put one small part of it but they claim to do the whole thing so it's you know it's always buyer beware always check on this kind of things and and it was a funny story right i, I was not surprised at all that that there were 40 percent of companies would claim to do ai and don't so let me know if the, for those of you guys who have worked at a software startup do you find this kind of stuff that they would just they would big themselves up they would talk about technology they didn't actually use and um you know because i just i just i i find it happens a lot so anyway just some thoughts for today that's it for today i'll talk to you guys again tomorrow